Hello everyone and welcome back. Meat Department here. I'm so glad you could join me for another video today. So we are back in the laundromat, tearing it up with Laundry Simulator. And today is a very special video because I've been playing this game so much in the past few weeks, rebirthing like crazy, getting all kinds of things. And this is the first time I'm sharing with you the first ever Rebirth Noob to Pro video. So what we'll be doing today is actually doing a rebirth, setting back up, talking through it, and you know, hopefully we'll get up to at least the XL washing machines. Anything past that with double XL and triple XL really takes a while and grind to get, uh, oh, and there's a gem right there. So really what you wanna do is go hop and get that gem, but my, ah, uh, my washing machine's full, so I can't get it. But you know, you gotta always have an empty washing machine just in case a gem drops, because you definitely want those. So, like I said, we'll be doing the rebirth today, and today it's rebirth number 12. 12. This is going to be my 12th rebirth. It's crazy because you start over every single time from scratch. I've gotten stronger along the way, and part of the rebirthing process is to be stronger when you do rebirth. So, just to let you know right off the bat, every time you rebirth, basically the benefit of that is you'll get 20% more gold when you clean your clothes and turn them in back there. So you do several rebirths and really your percentage of gold income is a lot higher than when you first started, which makes the process a little bit easier. You get set up just a little bit faster every time and really that's the whole point of the simulators is to get stronger and stronger so you can kind of get back up to where you were and push just a little past every single time. So something else to know with the rebirths, the price goes up every single time. So as you see, I have 11 rebirths and to get number 12, I need 44.8 trillion coins and that's a lot. So I have 44.5, but I do have a load in the washer to go turn in and we can go do that right now. So I'll show you how I set back up and the machines I use. Let's grab this and go turn it in. So that rainbow machine, look at that, gives me 220% extra. I got 950 billion gold for that and that's because I have 11 rebirths so on top of this being a really crazy machine and I love the rainbow double or triple XL I have 11 rebirths already so that means when I rebirth and um, start back up I'm gonna have 240 percent additional gold and I'll show you the machines I use um, so let's go ahead and get it started we got to go over to the board click it and Rebirthing will reset your coins and washing machines, but you will keep your stats, baskets, pets, and gems. So, you don't lose any of your baskets, your pets, or the gems. You also don't lose any of the limited washing machines if you have any of those. And those are the ones that are for sale over here every week. This week is the Luxury Floral. So if you buy these, you keep them after rebirth, and that is part of the strategy here to get going a little faster. So let's go ahead and click yes, and let's do it. Successfully rebirth number 12. It even gives you a little chat notification right there. Meet department YT is rebirth for the 12th time. So we go, we go from riches to rags, back to riches. So here's my plot. And basically what I do now is I have a bunch of limited machines that I have been compiling. So I get rid of this right off the bat and I start putting them down. So we have this week's Luxury Floral. We have a Graffiti. A few Valentines. We'll put a bunch of those down. That's one, two, three, four, five. And we got some cardboard machines. So these all give 55 multiplier. And I could hold 11 each, so 88 items. And then really, just start the grind. Start the grind. Pick them up as fast as you can. And go lob them in. Right here. Bam. And we're gonna do this over and over again. So, you know, in my last rebirth, I don't even think I upgraded these very, very slightly. I actually went straight to the double XL just using these to see how long it would take. But it would be more beneficial to probably replace these along the way, obviously. So this is it. And something with these smaller machines is they really, you know, they take a while and it gives you some time to just chill out. Because those, those bigger, like, triple XL machines are like 30 seconds. So you're constantly 
loading, unloading, loading, unloading. These are a little longer, so it's not a bad thing. Um, oh, look at that. Always get the shiny stuff when you don't have room to grab it. There you go. So let's see what this basic load gives me. 32,000 coins plus 240% rebirth. Wow. So a truck spawned, which means there might be some gold and silver. We definitely want to scoop those up. Bam. And then really just keep on picking up. The goal here, keep loading. Keep loading. So it takes, what's it take? 40 seconds. All right. Let's go over here. My next rebirth is going to cost 56 trillion. Oh my. It actually goes up a lot, huh? Wow. Okay. Let's take a look, though. We want to see some machines here. So I already have 32,000. So I could get the Galaxy, which is a 100 multiplier. But I'm getting gold pretty quick. So just put in a few minutes time. I mean, 933k to the XL. Um, that's going to take a while. I probably want to get a few of these along the way. Let's just do a few more loads, though, and see how much we get. I'd like to get some pretty decently strong ones before I start replacing. Because uh, the point of these limiteds is to really just help make it fast. So that's 41,000. There's some shinies over here. Let's go get them. If we can... Every little bit of multiplier helps. We'll click along the way as we make our way back. And we'll load them back in. Wait 40 seconds Dang. and get another 40 grand. Then we'll start buying new machines and building up and up. And it's just a matter of rinse and repeating this process, right? Be as efficient as you can. It's always a good idea to get washing machines that are several steps higher than the ones you have. So I don't want to get the next ones up from the 55 multiplier. I want to get ones that are like way up to start building on those. And then that'll start improving and boosting the amount of gold I get when I focus on putting the valuable items in that. Oh look, I never even put one in the Valentine's machine. Oh no. That's all right. So let's take a look. There's no shinies yet. I unfortunately have a Valentine's machine lagging now, so... Uh. That's all right. We'll load up all the rest and then grab them all together. Let's see here. How many can I get? 77? So we'll put them in. And we'll come back. Get the next load. And then we should have about 150,000 gold to buy a washer. Let's see. Which washer? Oh, there's a gem. Always a gem when I'm not there. I don't even have a free washer either. Let's see if I get it. Let's see if I get it. Oh, we got it. We got it. Oof. Had to run back for that one. So more often than not, you always want to have a free washer or space available. Just in case those gems drop. All right, let's take a look. What's it going to be? So right now, the limiteds are equivalent to the rainbow. 7,000. But I want to get something higher. These are 260, so these are like five times stronger. So maybe I'll start getting a bunch of blue steels. That seems like that's reasonable. Blue steels. Ooh, 150,000 for the ruby. We'll see what, what we get. 155. Because really, my main goal here is to get up to that 930,000 mark. Um so that I can start buying the XL machines entirely and go from there. So I actually do have enough. I'm going to start replacing with the rubies. I'm gonna put the rubies across the board and that is gonna bring the multiplier like times, oh my goodness, right now, let's see. So if I have 55 times right now for every machine and I'm going up to the ruby, that's 350. Buy it. So that's almost six, six times, right? Over six times stronger. So basically replacing uh, this graffiti machine, or this one right here, with the ruby, that one's going to be the equivalent of six of these machines all in one load. 
So that's the one I really want to throw my gold and silver um, clothes into, basically, if they're here. So let's get 77-ish, because I know there's going to be a car that rolls up. All right. All right. Well, I let's see if there's a shiny I can take out. Oh, here we go. Oh, the magnet. No. The auto magnet filled me up. I forgot to turn it off. Pro tip, turn off the auto magnet. I could have got that gold and threw it in there for sure. That's a shame. So as you see, I also don't have a pet out, and that is intentional. That is because the pet grabs stuff and throws it in the machines, and that's good if I'm just casually playing, coming back, picking them up, and selling, letting the pet do the work. But when I'm actively trying to get back up to the next level machines after rebirthing, I want to be the one that chooses what clothes I get and what machines I put them in. So one tip I have for you, if you get shinies, always save room in your best machine for gold, silver, or gem um, clothing because you're going to get that crazy multiplier. So now let's take a look. I have seven limited machines worth of clothes. That gives me 28,000 coins. Let's see what this one machine that I upgraded to the ruby gives me. 33,000. See that? That one ruby machine is already better than, um, all of those. All right. So now we got room. Let's try to get the shot. Oh, we got it. Oh, the gold. No, no capacity. I did get a silver though. So that's on the top of my stack as you see here. So I'm going to put that in first so that it goes into the ruby and gives me that little bit of bonus. And that's it. So you always want to pay attention to the gold, the silver, the gems. Grab them, stick them in your strongest machine. Just ways to maximize your gold flow, you know? That's what it's all about. So I'm going to upgrade the graffiti one next with another ruby when I get 150,000. Then we'll have two of those kick in in no time at all. We'll be able to replace a couple more. You'll kind of just get the feel as to how many you need to start replacing until you can get up to your goal, which in my case is 933,000 to buy the first rusty XL machine because that multiplier is insane. So here's a ruby and I don't have space yet, but I might. Let's empty this out. Let's run. Where is it? Sapphire, I mean. No! No! So I'm not good with the timing on this particular instance, but... Oh, I still grabbed it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Really good. So in this case, there's so many shinies right now. I'm just going to grab a whole bunch. Not really worry about location. And let's just stick them in. All right. So we need a few more. Get some clothes. Let's stick them in. All right. So that was a little sloppy, but we did it. I ended up putting the sapphire in the cardboard. We did get a bunch of golds and silvers in the ruby, though. So that's going to be a good turnout. Man, if I got that sapphire in there, though. Wow. So one Valentine's washer gives me 5,000 coins, so not a lot. But again, we're working at a fast pace going back and forth. I don't want to keep on replacing washers unless they're really strong at this point. Um, just for time's sake. So we'll see what we get from this load and we'll determine what to do next. So let's go ahead and pick these up. These, I'll do that Ruby one separately. All right. So that gave me 45,000. This one's got a bunch of multipliers in it. This should be a good one. 85,000. Wow. Oh, and there's more shinies. Let's just grab them. Very carefully. Now I want to grab these. Stick them in there. Grab two more. Get that going. And then... Let's just fill this up. Start the process over. Basically, we're going to go buy another ruby. We're starting to get good golden intake now. I don't have enough to buy two quite yet, but I will buy another one. You may ask, why don't you buy the next one up? Well, because I want to get a mass amount of clothes. I want to throw as many, grab as many clothes as possible. So I'm going to stick with the rubies because they're strong enough. Um, because really my goal is just to get to the XL as soon as possible. And the more clothes you grab, 
and put in, the more cars will come and drop more off. That's higher chance for shinies. So that is the point. The more clothes you wash and turn over, the more will be dropped. So bam. There's that. Let's go ahead. Edit. The graffiti out. Put the ruby back in. So now we have two. Two rubies. And we got some shinies coming. Alright. Let's grab that one. Grab that one. Okay. That is good. Fill those up. And now we'll do the other uh, six. We'll get 66. Bam. Put them in. And we'll go buy one more ruby. Maybe we will buy the next one up. We're getting pretty close here. Pretty close. Let's see. So that's 350. Oh, this is 510. For 248, I'm just short. So I'm just gonna buy another ruby. Having three strong ones to throw uh, gold and silver multipliers in, it's gonna help tremendously. We're almost ready to pick them up. So we got those. I just want to see what these two give. 119,000. That's beautiful. And the rest. Bam. 24,000. Okay. Well, so we'll stick that one in there. Now we have a possible 42 capacity. Let's get these little ones going. All right, so I got 28 free slots. Oh, because I missed one right there. All right. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, lagged. All right. So I'm just gonna finish, you know, rounding out. A few more loads will probably get me what I need to get my first double, or my first XL machine to put on the plot. So I'll be right back when I get enough gold for that. All right, so I just emptied out my machines real quick and an airdrop is coming. So it seems every time I record a video, the airdrops and there's no one out here. We gotta click fast and pick these up. Oh boy. No one's over there, I'm going to scoop them. For sure. Leave some in there though. She can go and get them. No, you're not gonna get them? Oh boy. Wow, nobody came out to get these. Okay. I usually like to leave a, you know, I'm not gonna take them all. So, wow. That's insane. That is really insane. So how many do I have? I have six, that's fine. All right. So let's fill up the rest here. Bam. Get him in there. So this is definitely going to bring me over the 933,000 I need for the first XL machine. As you see, I prioritized the airdrops into my strong machines. That's where I'm gonna get the most bang for my buck. So you'll be able to see, we'll be able to see which XL machine I can get. I might even be able to get one better than the Rusty now to start. Let's take a look. So having these limited machines, definitely a big help, but I did not have these to start. Um, when I was working up through the rebirths, I did not have those limited machines, actually for the first few. So that just gave a ton, oh my goodness. Um, but then I started picking them up. I started picking up the limiteds and now I have a bunch because it really helps now get the process going. So I have 1.6 million. I'm not going to fill up any more of those machines. I know I just saw a bunch of shinies in there, but getting these XLs, the multiplier is just so, 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 so crazy. Look at that, even the rusty one, 2,500 times compared to 350. That's like seven times stronger. But I have enough to get this one. So this is the one I'm gonna stick with. I'm going to buy a bunch of these. Just the regular, normal one. Cause that multiplier, 3750 is huge. Oh my. So that's gonna be the machine to prioritize for sure. And I wanna get that shiny along the way. So basically now, I'm gonna edit, 
I'm going to edit out all of those. I don't have to edit all of them out. And this one has a capacity of 20. So I'm going to prioritize all shinies for that one. And when I say shiny, I mean the gold and silver clothing, the gems. The ones that give a multiplier. Stick the rest in here and let it rip. All right. So that's really the process. I'm going to rinse and repeat this kind of pace and intensity, slowly get XL after XL. When I get to the XLs, what I like to do, I like to get a couple, maybe I'll get two or even four of the basic ones just to really start getting those multipliers pumping. But then that's really not enough. There's a lot of XL machines before you get to the double XL. So I like to upgrade, you know, a couple times along the way. I'll pick ones that are stronger, change them out because we can have eight of these big ones too. They just stack on top of each other. Rinse and repeat the process until I get to the double XLs. And then finally, you know, the triple XL, which I had at the start of this video, which really helps get enough for the rebirth uh, gold it takes now. It takes a lot of gold to rebirth now. Something else to note, these XLs do take a bit longer, as you see. So you'll have more time to not be so intense running back and forth, but their capacity is very low. So they only hold 20. Um, but that's it. So I'm going to keep on, you know, going through, building up my XLs, prioritize the uh, gold, silver gems into the XL machines over the small ones, of course. And really what I like to do is just pick. Again, I try to pick out the shinies when they land. All right. So like I was saying, I like to pick out the shinies when I can and focus them into the strong machine because that's the one I'm going to be getting the most benefit from. So right now there's not too much competition on this server, bam. And I can load that one up. Also looks like I can just grab basically these. <laughs> oh, what's that? Is that a shiny parrot? Wow. Oh no, that's a seal, okay. Cool. Stick them in. Let it rip. Like I said, repeat the process. I'll be doing more of these rebirth videos. Let me know what you think below. We'll look at the rebirth leaderboard. It's really insane. 33 is the top. Holy. And I'm sitting at number 17 with 12. So definitely been doing some work. My next rebirth cost a fortune. So it's going to take a while to get 56 trillion. But that is what it's all about. So I hope you enjoyed the rebirth number 12 to the noob to pro talking about how we set up the process we go through. Like I said, I'll work back up to double XLs and then the triple XL and really repeat the process. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you play Laundry Sim and have Rebirth, or if you haven't Rebirth, why don't you leave in the comments below why or why you haven't? I'm interested to know. If you liked what you saw and this is your first time seeing a video, why don't you go ahead and subscribe and smash that bell for notifications so you are made aware when the next episode comes out. But as always, until next time, Stay positive, keep washing, and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.